Hello and welcome to another segment of DSU Inside Perspective. I'm Carlos Holmes and this is the show where we talk with faculty, staff, students, alumni, and even people from the outside about some of the things that are going on in the world and some of the great things that are going on at the Delaware State University. Today I have Dr. Vincent Fondong. He's a professor of biological science here at Delaware State University. And he's involved in some really successful research. You've been doing this research now for uh, 20 years now. Yes, yes. Okay, and this is involving the Gemini virus. Okay. Now, first of all, let me, let me ask you a question. You are from where? I'm from West Africa. West Africa, okay. Yes. And you've been at Delaware State University since? Since 2002. 2002, wow. Yeah. So you've been with us for 16 years. Uh, yes. And all of your time here, you've continued research that you actually began before you came to Dell State yes. on the Gemini virus. What is the Gemini virus? Yeah, Gemini viruses are very small viruses that infect a host of plants, so many plant species, especially plants that we eat. So, these so we're talking food crops. Yes, food crops, uh -huh. food crops. Mm. So these viruses are very small, but they do cause a lot of harm to the plant. Mm -hmm. There are some crops that it reduces uh, production by over 90%. Mm -hmm. So you, uh, uh, that makes it one of the most important viruses, uh, group of viruses uh, worldwide. Mm -hmm. And these viruses, the peculiar thing is that they occur across all ecological uh, areas. So um, research here, therefore, will apply to other areas of the globe. That makes uh, this group of viruses very important. Now, in your particular research, we have a picture of the cassava plant, which yes. is basically grown in Africa, correct? Yes, yes. Okay, but you've been focusing your research on the Gemini virus on the cassava, which is an important food staple yes, over yes. there in, 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 in Africa. Yes. Um, but this can extend to any type of food crop, right? Y yes, it, it does uh, extend to any type of food crop. We have uh, germinal viruses that infect uh, tomato, mm. potato, tobacco. So your, your, um, your research is wide ranging. Y yes, so um, we use cassava as the model plant. By the way, cassava, even though it's uh, grown so much in Africa today, Mm -hmm. originally came from the Americas. Really? Yes, it originally wow. came from the Americas and uh, was in, uh, introduced in Africa. And it happens that this virus, although cassava came from the Americas, mm -hmm. it's when this virus got to Africa, it's when this crop got to Africa that the virus um, uh, infected it. And it has now spread to other areas, mm -hmm. including Southeast Asia. Now, now, real quickly, we, we were chatting before we came on here yeah. about the impacts of the uh, uh, cassava, uh, excuse me, of the Gemini virus. Yes. Okay, and one of the things you said, it, it, it kind of inhibits the plant from fighting the virus. Yes, yes, But yes. you said a couple other things. What are the other couple of things that it does to the plant? Yes, um, uh, th this virus, um, what it does is when it enters the plant, because viruses are that very small, they need help from the plant in order to grow, in order to multiply. Mm -hmm. So what this virus does is, it has some very few proteins, and we'll come to that, that it uses to make the plant um, mobilize to produce, to replicate the virus, to multiply the virus, mm -hmm. and a deficiency of the plant. So it makes the plant an inc incubator. Y y yes, uh, the plant becomes an incubator mm -hmm. and produces more of the virus mm -hmm. at its own deficiency. This is a carcinogen also, isn't it, this virus? Uh, yeah, this virus, well, uh, um, this virus produces a protein that we can consider to be a cancer, uh, 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 that um, enables uh, the uh, plant to multiply, uh, the cells of the plant mm -hmm. to multiply uncontrollably mm -hmm. and therefore cancerous. Okay. So uh, the protein we um, have been studying on here entices the plant to multiply uncontrollably. Right. And now, therefore that's like cancer, right? Uh -huh. Now there was a significant scientific development in the world yes. that is really 
helped you move ahead with your research. What is that? Yes, um, we are talking about uh, the uh, human genome sequencing. The, during that uh, process, a lot of techniques were developed mm. to move uh, sequencing. That means identifying the building blocks of DNA. And when we say DNA, we are talking about genes. Mm -hmm. uh, so during the process of sequencing the human genome, techniques were developed which we are now applying to study plants. Okay, so in this case, you've been able to kind of take apart yes. this virus yes. and learn all the parts of it. Yes. And what did you find out about this Gemini virus? Yeah, we found out that uh, one of the key proteins that we focus on is known as uh, C4, AC4. Protein. Yes. Uh -huh. So this, uh, this protein, although very small, does so many activities when the virus enters the cell. Mm -hmm. Because this, the virus is very small, it needs um, the, the uh, multiplication machinery of the cell. Mm -hmm. The plant. Uh, yes, of the plant cell. Mm -hmm. So um, what this uh, protein does for the virus is that it entices the cell to multiply uncontrollably. Mm -hmm. And that is how uh, viruses cause cancer in human beings. Right. So this protein we have been studying is analogous to uh, other proteins in human uh, mm -hmm. cells that cause cancer. So how have you been able to change this? This is, I understand this is a game changer, this protein, <laughs> the understanding of this protein. How have you been able to stop what it does to the plant? Yes, that means um, we can now develop methods by which we can hold this uh, protein back. We can silence it. And you silence it how? By doing something with yeah. the plant? Y yes. We can silence it, and this is essentially uh, like we take vaccines. Uh -huh. We take a small piece of the uh, virus and introduce into the cell, into the genome of the plant. And, and therefore, making the plant able to be alert to know when the virus comes, because it already has a copy of this strange mm -hmm. uh, piece of DNA. Mm -hmm. And therefore, if the virus eventually comes, the plant is already prepared for it. It can uh, 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 block it from uh, uh, multiplying. Okay. Now, when we're talking about DNA studies, DNA research, yeah. genetics, this type of thing, yeah. some people get a little nervous because they yeah. sense an yeah. ethical problem, but yes. you're not creating a new plant. Yeah. This is the same thing if I get a flu vaccine, right? Yeah. Yes. It's the yes. same thing. Yes. Okay. Yes. So that's yes. Okay. Um, we are not creating Dolly the sheep. We're not creating Dolly the sheep mm -hmm. by uh, genetically engineering uh, mm -hmm. plants. Mm -hmm. All we are doing is using the techniques that were developed during the genome sequencing, mm -hmm. using tho those techniques to discover some of the uh, ways by which the plant defends itself, by the way, mm -hmm. because the plant already has mechanisms to defend its, uh, itself. Mm -hmm. So we use some of these techniques to di discover ways by which the plant de uh, defends itself and then reinforce that uh, uh, mechanism so that it can defend against uh, any virus that we target. Now, my understanding is that you started this, uh, you, you got some really big help once you got here to DSU, you got a $250,000 uh, That was my first grant. grant. Your first grant when yes. you got here around 2004. Yes. You have since uh, been able to attract more than $7 million yes. in research grants yes. for this research, and it certainly appears to be bearing some fruit. Yeah. Now that you understand the protein, yeah. you understand how to silence the protein, yes. Uh, what's the next steps for you? Yeah, the next step is we have actually developed a method by which we can make the plant fight against this virus. Mm -hmm. So um, we use these techniques to mobilize the plant using uh, its normal ways by which it, co it fights. Mm -hmm. just, we just enhance those methods and therefore we don't go into complications of creating mm -hmm. a new plant. We do a lot of research here at Delaware State University, yes. and I'm always very happy to, to put 
the news out about grants that we receive, but I'm more excited about when we have actual findings yes. and we have actual success in our research. Yes. And so I'm very excited about the success you have. Please keep us up to date on your progress on, on this particular research. I, I will, and I always uh, like seeing you around me because uh, I know that there's good news. Thank you. Thank you for being on my show. Yeah, and thank, thank you. you for joining us for another segment of DSU Inside Perspective. Everyone have a good day.